The silence is driving me mad. Why do you not speak to me? Is there no ship in sight yet? <laughs> no, I do not think so. At least I cannot see any. If I could stand, I could tell better. I cannot see far from this position. I am so near the water. And my eyes are like two balls of fire. They burn and burn as if they were boring into my brain. I know, I know. Everywhere I look, I see great crimson spots. It is as if I see great drops of blood. Do you see them too? Yesterday I did, or someday. I no longer remember days, but today everything is red. The very sea itself seems changed to blood. Perhaps it is the blood of those who died that night, rising to the surface. Do not say such things. She were horrible. Very well, I do not then. care to listen to you. I will not speak. throat burns. Why did you ask me to speak if you did not care to listen to me? I did not ask you to speak of blood. I did not ask you to mention that night. Well, I will say no more then. You may talk to her if you wish. I do not bear the silence. Just talk to me about anything you please, but for goodness sake, talk to me. I, I must not think, I must not think. Your pardon, dear gentlemen. I am afraid I spoke harshly. I am not myself. I think I'm a little out of my head. There's so much sun and so much sea. Everything gets vague at times. I am very weak. We have not eaten in so long. We've not even had a drink of water in so long. Oh, if only we had a drink of water. Please do not speak of water. Water? Who's got water? You know he, no one here has any water. You stole the last of what we had yourself. Why do you ask such questions? Do you notice how deep the silence is? The world seems emptier than ever. I'm afraid. Tell me why it is. I do not know why it is. I notice it too. Ah, I know why. She has stopped singing. She's silent. Do you not remember she was singing a queer, monotonous song, more of a dirge than a song? I've heard many songs in many languages of the places I've played, but never a song like that before. Why did she stop, do you think? Do you think maybe something frightened her? I do not know, but I will ask. Why did you stop singing? The old ship sailed on the alley, 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 What a song. There is no tune to it, and I can understand no words. I wonder what it means. <laughs> Who knows? It is doubtless some folk song which she is singing. But I wish to find out. Sailor, would you tell me what it means, that, that song you were singing? It is a song of people. But, but what do the words mean? I am singing to them. It is a charm. I have been told it is very strong. If I sing long enough, they will not eat us. Eat us? What will eat us? She means the sharks. Those pointed black things you see moving in the water are their fins. Have you noticed them before? Yes, yes, I have noticed them, but I did not know they were sharks. Oh, this is horrible. Hold this. 
it. Why do you say such things? Do you not know you will frighten him? He asked me what I was singing. Well, at least tell him the truth about sharks. That is all a children's tale about them eating people. You know they never eat anyone, and I know it. You are sure of what you say? Of course I'm sure. Everyone knows that sharks are too afraid to touch a person. They're all cowards. You were just trying to frighten the man, were you not? I no longer like this song. It makes me dream, think of horrible things, tell her to stop. No. <laughs> you are just nervous. Anything is better than dead silence. Yes, anything is better than silence, even a song like that. She is strange, that sailor. I do not know what to think of her. It is a strange song she sings. She does not want to seem to speak to us. I noticed that too. When I, uh, when I asked her about this song, she did not want to answer at all. Yet she speaks. It cannot be that she does not understand us. And when she does speak, it is as if she had some impediment in her throat. Perhaps she has. If so, she is much to be pitied, and we are wrong to speak of her so. I do not pity her. I am afraid of her. That is foolish. It is the sun which beats down so fiercely which makes you have such thoughts. I also have been afraid of her at times. But I know now that I was gazing at the sea too long and listening to the great silence. Such things distort the brain. Then you no longer fear her. I no longer fear her now that I am quite sane. It clears my brain to talk to you. We must talk to each other all the time. Yes, we must talk to each other. I, I do not dream when I talk to you. I think at one time I was going mad. I had a dream that she had a knife and she looked at me. But it was all madness. I can see that now. She is just a poor sailor, our companion in misfortune. God knows we are all in the same pitiful plight. We must not grow suspicious of one another. All the same, I am afraid of her. There's something in her eyes when she looks at me which makes me tremble. There is nothing, I tell you. It is all your imagination. Good God, is there no ship in sight yet? I can see none, and I cannot stand to get a wider view. Ask her. She is stronger than we are. She may be able to see one. Sailor, you are stronger than we are and can see farther. Stand up and tell me if there is any ship in sight. No, there are none. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. To wait and wait for something that never comes. It is indeed horrible. But it is to be expected. Why do you say it is to be expected? Have you no hopes then of being rescued? I have hoped for many things in my life. Always I have hoped in vain. We are far out of the beaten track of steamers. I know little of navigation, yet I overheard those on board say we were following a course but little used. Why we did so, I do not know. Perhaps the captain wished to make a quicker passage. She alone knows what was in her mind, and she will probably never tell. No, she will never tell. Why do you speak to so decidedly? She might have been among those who escaped on the boat. She did not escape, she is dead. Dead? Yes, she was on the bridge. I can remember seeing her face as she stood in under a lamp. It was pale and drawn like the face of a dead man. Her eyes too seemed dead. She was shouting some orders in a thin, trembling voice. No one paid any attention to her. And then, then um, she, 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 she shot herself. I, I heard the flash above. Uh, I saw the flash, I heard the report above all the screams of the drowning. 
someone grasped me by the arm and, and sh shouted in my ear. And then I fainted. Poor captain. It is evident then that she felt herself guilty since she shot herself. It must be terrible to hear the cries of the dying and know oneself to blame. I do not wonder she killed herself. She was so kind and good natured, the captain. It was only that afternoon on the promenade deck when she stopped beside my chair. I hear you are to entertain us this evening, she said, and it is very kind of you. I had promised myself the pleasure of seeing you in New York, but you have forestalled me. How noble and lively she was, the captain. I would have liked to have seen her soul. You would have found it no better and no worse than the souls of other men. If she was guilty, she has paid with her life. No, she has avoided payment by taking her life. The dead do not pay. And the dead cannot answer when we speak evil of them. All we can know is that she is dead. Let us talk about the things. Of it. <laughs> what is it? I, I, I cannot read. My eyes ache, so... Bend closer, bend closer. It is worthwhile understanding the joke that has been played on me. <laughs> United States Club of Buenos Aires. I do not understand what the joke is. I will explain the joke to you then. Listen. M-E-N-U. Menu. That is the joke. <laughs> this is a souvenir menu from a banquet given in my honor by this club. Martini cocktails. Soup. Sherry. Fish. Burgundy. Chicken. Champagne. And here we are, dying for a crust of bread. For a drink of water. <laughs> Oh, what a joke to play on us. <laughs> this is too horrible. What have we done that we should suffer so? It, it is as if one misfortune after another happened to make our agony more terrible. Throw that thing away. The very sight of it is a mockery. How do you happen to have that thing on you? It is ghastly for you to torture me by reading it. I am sorry to have hurt you. The jest was so grotesque I could not keep it to myself. You ask how I happen to have it with me. I will tell you, it gives the joke an even bitter flavor. You remember when the crash came. We were all in the salon. You were reciting a sonnet. Shakespeare, I think. <laughs> yes, uh, it's, it, it's, it is one I first performed at the palace in London. <laughs> it was in the salon. You were acting. You were very handsome. I remember a woman on my right saying, how handsome he is. I wonder if he's married. <laughs> Strange how some idiotic remark like that can stick in one's brain when all else is vague and confused. A tragedy happens. We are in the middle of it. And one of our clearest remembrances afterwards is a remark that might have been overheard on the subway train. <laughs> It is so with me. <laughs> there was a, a, a fat, bald-headed little man. Uh, it, it was on the deck of the ship. Everywhere they were, uh, they were fighting to, to get into the boats. <laughs> it's, 
This poor little man. He stood by himself. He, he kept, uh, his moon face was convulsed with rage. And he kept repeating in, in loud, angry tones. I shall be late. I must cable. I can never make it. He's still repeating his broken appointment when a rush of the crowds swept him off his feet and into the sea. I can see him now. He's the only person besides the captain that I remember clearly. You were very handsome. I remember I was looking at you and wondering what kind of man you were. You know, I had never met you personally. Just seeing you on my walks around the deck. <laughs> then came the crash. That horrible, the whole crash. We were all thrown forward on the floor of the salon. And then screams, oaths, fainting women. The hollow boom of a bulkhead giving way. I remember, I vaguely remember, rushing to my stateroom and picking up my wallet. It must have been that menu that I picked up instead. And then I was on deck, fighting amidst the crowd. I, somehow I got into a boat, but it was overloaded and was swamped immediately. I swam to another boat, but they beat me off with the oars, and that boat too was swamped a moment later. And then the gurgling, choking cries of the drowning. Something huge rushed by me in the water, leaving a gleaming trail of phosphorescence. A woman next to me with a life belt around her gave a cry of agony and disappeared, and then I realized, sharks. I was frenzied with terror. I swam. I beat the water with my hands. The ship had gone down. I swam and swam with but one thought in my mind to put all this horror behind me. There was something white in the water in front of me. I clutched it, climbed onto it. It was this raft. You and she were on it. And then I fainted. Oh, so a horrible nightmare in my brain. But I clearly remember that idiotic remark of the woman in the salon. Oh, what pitiful creatures we are! When the crash came, uh, I too rushed to my stateroom. I took this, clasped it around my wrist, and I ran on deck. And the rest I've told you. Do you not remember how you came to be on the raft? It is strange that you and she should be on the raft alone when so many died for lack of a place. Were there ever any others on the raft with you? No, there were not. I'm sure there were not. My, my memory is blurred, but I feel sure that we were always the only ones until you came. I was afraid of you. Your face was livid with fear. You were moaning to yourself. It was the sharks. Until they came, I kept half control of myself. But when I saw them, even my soul quivered with terror. Sharks, why oh, they're all around us. You lied to me. You said they would not touch us. Oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. If I lied to you, it was because I wished to spare you. Be brave. We are safe from them as long as we stay on the raft. These things must be faced. Besides, what does it matter? Sharks or no sharks, the end is the same. Well, yeah, you are right. What does it matter? Wow, how still the sky is, how still the sea is. 
<laughs> One would think the world was dead. I think the accursed humming of that sailor makes one feel the silence all the more keenly. There is nothing that seems to live. How the sun burns into me. My poor skin that I was once so proud of. Come, let us not think about it. It is madness to think about it so. How do you account for your being on this raft alone with this sailor? You have not yet told me. How can I tell? The last thing I remember was that harsh voice jolly in my ear or something. What? I cannot recollect. There was nothing else? Nothing. Stop, yes, there's uh, something I had forgotten. Um, I think someone kissed me. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure someone kissed me, but I, no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm, it may have all been a dream. I had dreams, I've had many dreams these awful days and nights, so many mad, mad dreams. Mad, mad dreams, mad, mad dreams. Come, you said someone kissed you. You must be mistaken. I surely did not, and it could hardly have been the sailor. Yet I am sure that someone did. It was not that I had been on this raft. It was on the deck of the ship, just as I was fainting. Well, who could it have been, do you think? I hardly dare say what I think. I might be wrong. Do you remember... Uh, uh, it's the second officer, a, a young woman with great dark eyes who was very strong and beautiful. All the men loved her. I too loved her. A little bit. She loved me very much. Yes, I, I know she loved me very much. I. I think it was she who kissed me. I'm, I'm almost sure it was she. Yes, she must have been the one. That would explain it all. She must have sent the raft away when only you and she were on it. She probably did not tell anyone of the existence of this raft. Indeed, she must have loved you to dare disregard her duty so. I will ask the sailor. Maybe she can clear away any doubts. Sailor. Did the second officer order you to take this man from the ship? I do not know. Did she tell you to take no one else with you except this man and perhaps herself afterwards? I do not know. Do not speak to her anymore. She is angry about something. She will not answer. <laughs> She's going mad, I think. However, it seems certain that it was the second officer who kissed you and saved your life. She was very kind and brave to me. She meant well. Yet I wish now she had let me die. I would have been way down in the cold green water. I would have been sleeping, coldly sleeping. Well, now my brain is scorched with sunfire and dream fire, and I am going mad. Your eyes shine with a wildfire at times, and that sailors are horrible with strangeness. And mine eyes see great drops of blood that dancing upon the sea. Yes, we are all mad. God, oh God, must this be the end of all? I was coming home, home after years of struggling, home to success and fame and then money, and I must die out here on a raft like a mad dog? Be still! You must not despair so! I too might whine a prayer of protest. Oh God, God, after seven years of incessant grind, day after weary day, I was starting my first vacation. I was going home. And here I sit, dying by a slow degree, desolate and forsaken. Is this the end, oh God? Is this the meaning of all my years of labor? So that I might wail with equal protest? 
But the blind sky will not answer your appeals, or mine. Nor will the cruel sea grow merciful for any prayers of ours. Have you no hopes that one of the ship's boats may have reached land and reported the disaster? They would surely send out steamer boats to search for other survivors. <laughs> we have drifted far, very far, in these long and weary days. I'm afraid no steamer would find us. We are lost then. I have not given up hope. These seas, I have heard, are full of coral islands, and we surely ought to drift near one soon. It was probably an uncharted coral reef that our steamer hit. I heard someone say derelict, but I saw no sign of one in the water. With us, it is only a question of whether or not we can last until we sight land. Water would save us. Just a little bit of water. A few drops would be enough. Oh God, if only we had some water! Perhaps there will be water at an island. Look, look hard. In an island or a, a ship may have come in sight while we were talking. See an island! I see nothing. Nothing but a red sea and a red sky. It, it is gone now. Yet I am quite sure I saw one. It was right out there, c quite near to us. It was all green and clean looking with a clear stream that ran out to the sea. I, I could hear the water running it over the stones. Wait, you do not believe me? Did you, you say that you, you must have seen it? Did you, did you not? No. Why, well, yeah, I cannot see it anymore. Yet I must see it. I will see it. There is nothing there, I tell you. There's nothing but sun and sky and sea around us. There are no green trees and there is you no water. You mean to water. tell me that I lie? Can I not believe my own eyes? I tell you, I saw it. Cool, clear water. I could hear it bubbling over the stones. But now I hear nothing. Nothing at all. Why have you stopped singing? Is not everything awful enough already that you shouldn't make it worse? Water, I want water. Give me water and I will sing. We have no water, fool. It is your fault we have none. Why did you drink what was left in the cask when you thought we were asleep? If I had any, I wouldn't give you any. You don't deserve it. You deserve to suffer, you pig. If any one of the three of us has any water, it is she who has hidden some of what she stole but you will get no chance to drink it. I promise you, I am watching you. Do you really think she has some? She may have, she may have. Why do you say that? She looks strange. She's been looking as if she wished to hide something. I was wondering what it could be. And then suddenly I thought to myself, what if it should be some water? Then I knew I had found her out. Oh, I will not let her get the best of me. I will watch her. She will not drink while I am watching. I will watch as long as I can see. What could she have put the water in? There is nothing she has that I can discover. Who knows? She may have a flask hidden under her jersey, but she has something that I am sure of. Why is she so much stronger than we are? She could stand without effort while we can scarcely move. Why is that, I ask you? It is true. She stood up and looked for a ship as easily as if she had never known hunger and thirst. You are right. She, she must have something hidden, uh, food or water. No, she has no food. There has never been any food, but there has been water. There was a whole small cask full of it on the raft when I got here. And then on the second or third night, I do not remember which, I awoke and found her draining the cask. When I reached it, it was empty. Oh, you pig, you rotten pig! That water would have saved our lives. She is no better than a murderer. Listen, she must have poured some of the water into her flask. There was quite a little there. She could not have drunk it all. 
Oh, she is a cunning one. That song of hers, it is just a blind. She drinks when we are not looking. But she will drink no more, for I will watch her. I will watch her. You will watch her. And what good would that do either of us? Will we die any the less sooner for your watching? No. We must get that water away from her. That is the only thing to do. She will not give it to us. We will steal it from her while she sleeps. I do not think she sleeps. I have never seen her sleep. Besides, we should wake her. We will kill her then. She deserves to be killed. She is stronger than we are. And she has a knife. No, we cannot do that. I would willingly kill her, as you say she deserves it. But I cannot even stand. I have no strength left. I have no weapons. She would laugh at me. There must be some way. You would think even the most heartless savage would share at a time like this. It is horrible to be dying of thirst with water so near. Think. Think, is there no way? You might buy it from her with that watch of yours. I've heard she's fond of such things. This watch, it is worth 1,000 pounds. An English dame gave it to me. I will not part with it. Do you think I am a fool? Think of a drink of water. If we do not drink soon, we will die. You will take your watch to the sharks with you? Very well, then, I will say no more. For my part, I would sell my soul for a drop of water. You are horrible. I had almost forgotten about those monsters. It is not kind of you to be always bringing them back to my memory. It is well that you should not forget them. You will value your dame's present less when you look at them. Come, we will die of thirst while you are dreaming. Offer it to her. Offer it to her. It is magnificent, isn't it? I hate to part with it. She was very fond of me, the English dame. I think she would even have married me in the end. I did not like her. She was old, very old. Something came up, I forget what. I never saw her again. This is the only gift of her I have left. Why are you chattering so? Think of the water she has got. Offer it to her. Yes, yes, yes. My, my throat is burning up. I, I, my eyes are burning. I'm very, very thirsty. I must have the water. Look, you have stolen our water. You deserve to be killed. We will forget all that. Look at this watch. It was given to me by an English dame, a noble woman. It is worth 1,000 pounds, $5,000. It will provide for you for, for the rest of your life. You need not work at all. You need not be a sailor at all anymore. You need not work at all anymore. Do you understand what that means? Look, I will give you this watch. It is truly valuable, you know, 5,000 pounds for that water. You need not give me all of it. You may keep some for yourself. I would not have you die. I'm not unreasonable. I just want enough for myself and my friend. Until we reach some island. Here, here. You may have the watch. It is yours. Take it. Give me the water. Give me the water. I am giving you the watch now. Give me the water. Just give him the water. I have no water. <laughs> you are cruel. Why do you lie? Do you see me suffering so? And you lie to me. I'm giving you the watch. It is worth 5,000 pounds. Surely for 5,000 pounds, you will give me a drink of water. I have no water, I tell you. Oh, you pig. 
You pig, you black dog! Well, you have heard her. She will not give it to us. Maybe she has very little water and is afraid to give it to us. What shall we do? What can we do? Nothing. She is stronger than we are. There is no wind. We will never reach an island. We can die and that is all. Huh. Who is the coward now? You have given up on hope, it seems. Well, I have not given up hope. I still have one chance. It has never failed me yet. You will offer her more money? No, not that. I will give her more than money. I do not understand. Better? <laughs> How do I look? You look terrible. <laughs> you are hideous. <laughs> you lie. I'm handsome. Everyone knows I'm handsome. You you have said so yourself. You are jealous. It is you who are hideous. I will not give you any water. You will get no water. You are frightful. What are you going to do? Act for her? Dance for her? Dance, dance, allow me. I will be the orchestra and she will be the gallery and we will both applaud you madly. <laughs> sailor, sailor, uh, Tell me, uh, what, what, what is your name, your first name? You will not tell me then? Uh, you, are, you are angry at me, are you not? Um, I've, I've called you bad names. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, very sorry. It was her who put such ideas into my head. She does not like you. Neither did I, but I see now that you are the better of the two. I hate her. She, she has said dreadful things which, which I cannot forgive. I like you, sailor. You are wise and, and smart. We are going to be very good friends, are we not? Surely you, you will not refuse to give me a, a little sip of, of your water? I have no water. <laughs> why, why will you keep up this subterfuge? Am I not offering you price enough? Do you not understand? Noblemen and then millionaires and then all degrees of women have loved me, have fought for me. Do, do you not understand? I will not love any of them as I will love you. Do you not understand? Look in my eyes, say, look in my eyes. Will you never understand? Are you so stupid that you do not know what I am talking about? I, I am offering myself to you. I am kneeling before you. I who have had women kneel to me. I am offering my gifts to you, my, my talent, which women have called so incredible. I am willing to perform for, for, for you, a lowly sailor. If you will give me one small drink of water, have I not humiliated myself enough for you to keep me waiting so? Answer me. Answer me. Will you give me that water? I have no water. Great God. Have I abased myself for this? Have I humbled myself before this animal to be spurned like a wench of the street? It is too much. You lie. You have my water. You have stolen my share of the water. 
Give it to me. Give it to me! No, I heard no water. Let me alone. What is it? I dreamed I saw great tumblers of ice water. They were just beyond my reach. I tried and tried to get to them. Oh, it was horrible. But what has happened here? What is the matter? Quick, Maxine. Did she send any flowers tonight? Good, she will be in the stage box. I, I will smile to her then, the poor old fool. She will marry me someday, and I will be a duke. Think of that, Maxine, a real duke. Go on, go on, it is as good as a play. <laughs> They're applauding for me. It cannot be me. Uh, oh, oh, you know, oh, how hot it is. Are the footlights glare? Oh, I'm thirsty. I'll be glad to to get away tonight. I'm I'm very thirsty. They're they're applauding for me. I must dance for them. Oh, 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 how hot it is. Oh, oh, it is hot. I'm. I'm, I'm stifling. I, bring me, bring me, bring me a drink of water. I'm, I'm, I'm choking. I'm, I'm, I'm choking. I'm ch I'm ch bravo, bravo! Give us some more. <laughs> <laughs> he does not answer me. He is sick. He is fainted. My God. He is dead. Poor boy. Poor boy. Is he dead? Yes, he is dead. Poor boy. Heart no longer beats. He is better off. He does not suffer. One of us had to die. It's better for us that he is dead. What do you mean? What good does his death do us? We will live now. I do not understand. We shall eat. We shall drink. Oh. 